Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode, it was so funny. We had finally had a, uh, an episode completely focused on Tai. And it was so fun kind of following Tai around doing like, you know, she was doing her own stuff throughout the day. <laughs> People were feeding her and she was like doing a dance battle. And then she goes to like, you know, horse racing and uh, no, sorry, not horse racing, <laughs> boat racing. And she like, by the end of it, she wins. She wins a lot of money and thankfully um, Tatsumi Kotaro can pay, pay off the debt <laughs> and like it's like like I think like she like in, in one day she like earned so much money that I don't know like uh, the Fran Shushu barely uh, you know uh, earned in like you know on all of these days doing idle activities she just won a bet bet uh, like you know in a betting like in a horse uh, I'm again saying horse racing, boat racing in a boat racing bet. She won. Uh, she won it, and yeah, that was fantastic. But unfortunately, something happened. Her head came off, and the reporter saw it. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that picture. Um, let's see. Like, I doubt people are going to believe him. You know, if he suddenly goes to someone and says that, "Oh, look at this. Like, these girls are not." ordinary girls uh, people would probably like say that oh like you're like you know you're lying you're trying to uh, get like famous doing these kind of things this is most probably photoshop people probably won't believe him i don't know let's see what happens like who knows let's see like let's just start with this episode this is episode number seven of zombieland saga revenge so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What the? Who is singing? Is this Sakura? No. My mind. <laughs> oh. Oh no, her glasses. What? <laughs> what? Damn, she's positive. <laughs> Damn, she's positive and... Come on, what? <laughs> oh, Kotaro is... <laughs> Can she not see? Oh! Wait, is she going to die? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> She's going to die, I can feel it. Oh my god. In this world, you don't get isekai, you get zombified. Yeah, this this feels familiar, you know. <laughs> Kotaro, oh my god, my my revolution saga. Wait, what? <laughs> New member. I was not expecting this. Yeah, applause, people. What the hell? <laughs> She's really dead. Yeah, she's a member, not dead. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Calm down, Kotaro. <laughs> oh God, it's an accident, you know. Oh my God. 
Yeah, she's really zombified, I think. Oh my god. What the hell? Is she like Thai? Oh no, she, there's a, a little time. It takes a little time to come back to their. <laughs> oh! Oh damn. But she already did her makeup? Oh no, she's fresh dead. So she has not decomposed. Uh, she, I think she needs glasses. Wait, she's not dead. She's not dead. Oh, I realized it now. Oh my god. Uh, that's not because of that. She cannot see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was. Okay. I thought she was dead. Oh, is that so? She's a fan. Oh! Oh my god, I never noticed. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Kotaro, don't... Oh! <laughs> Yukiri? Yeah, this is not like a. <laughs> she has a certain dialect, you know, like the way she's speaking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think she'll tell anyone. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, like, Kotar was planning to make her into one of the idol girls. So, I don't think there's a problem here. Like, she was saying that number seven. What the? What the? <laughs> my, my, okay. That's a real simple name. What? Oh. Wait, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously she has family, so... <laughs> Kotar was pressurized. Frozen rain check? Yeah, she has a dialect. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh my god. She's straightforward, like, you know, extremely. <laughs> and honest as well. Oh, damn. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Thai is also doing it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Saki. Oh! Damn her! Glasses! Ha! 
<laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. What is is that a tamago? What is it called? Tamago chi or something? I I can't. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, obviously, like I don't know about this much about these things, but they're like a big source of nostalgia for a lot of Japanese people. A lot of people, not only Japanese. Mm, okay. So that's why I'm guessing. Saga <coughs> scene. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so that's why, like, you know. Like, Francesca is kind of like, you know, bringing back the, what do you call it? As she said, like, people barely know about Saga and, like, they're kind of revitalizing it, as they said, like, Zombieland Saga. So that's why. <laughs> Wow, yeah, she's remembering her own time. Hmm. Um, I don't think other other people will be as expecting accepting as her. So I don't know. I really hope she stays as an idol. I don't think she will. What the? What the? Make an idol show? Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, 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 this, this is a good idea. Oh my god, Tai is coming. What's she going to do? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Eight wise idol group. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't think that's how it works, but you know. <laughs> I really hope, as I, was, as I was saying, I really hope she like, keeps, like, you know, being in this group, but I don't think that will happen. Like, let's see. Like, I'll be, I'll be the most happy if she keeps trying to be in an idol and she is really permanently added into the group. But I don't know, let's see. Okay, she, she's doing it everything better. Okay, that's good.
Oh my god, I'm having a bad feeling about this. Yeah, like the makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Die. What's she even doing? Mm. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> what the? Kotaro? <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Completely opposite to her. Oh, wow. Kokotaru's. I'm guessing Kotaro is remembering the past, like coming into the school, you know? <coughs> what? Yeah. Mm, well, you know, it's revenge. Yeah, that's why it's Call revenge. Yeah, to give up. The regular old walking dead. Wait a minute. Oh no, I I think What was what was happening here? Like everything was going so good now. <laughs> you forgot something me. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Is she here? Yeah, she's here. Okay. Hmm. Well, I hope everything goes up. Okay, you know. <clears throat> okay, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, they didn't have an idea. Wow. Okay. Okay, she's doing extremely well.
All right, everything's going smoothly. I was thinking something bad was going to happen. All right, there you go. Nice. There you go. Everything is going fine. <laughs> Wait. Okay. The audience is not taking it well, I think. Or is it? Let's see. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Is she retiring or something? There you go. I was thinking like this something like this is going to happen. Oh my god. <sighs> something must have happened when Sakura talked with her, you know, about that not giving up. I'm, I'm thinking like she probably has some kind of dream of her own. Like after listening to Sakura, she thought like, yeah, like what I, am I doing here? Like I should be doing that. I don't know, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, everyone was so surprised. Okay. I thought I was the same. Oh. So she wants to live her own life, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. There you go. Yeah, I, I kind of thought something like this is going to happen. Yeah, I really liked her, you know, as a character. She's so positive and, you know, perfect for being an idol, but... <sighs> well, I saw this coming. The first and the last. You know, idol show. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Die. <laughs> what? Oh, she's giving. <laughs> Damn. Oh, this thing, okay, okay. 
exception number five. No, number five. Oh my god, yeah, and he is. <laughs> who is who is Yamada? Oh god, yeah, oh my god. One thing. Okay, one thing that he said that really caught my ears. Uh, exception of number five, Yugiri. Who is Yugiri? Like that's one of the biggest mystery. Like, like she's a courtesan. We already like we already know, and we know that she like you know uh, maybe she, he was unable to find anything about her because she is like you know quite old, like you know from the older eras, and like she's she was just a cor cor courtesan. So maybe that is the reason why he was unable to find much information on her. But I don't know. <clears throat> like she somehow knows that bartender, that master and like the uh, the bartender knows her somehow like there's a little bit of a mystery going around yugi and we know nothing about yugi so like you know like that's um something that i i hope we get a yugi episode you know this season so yeah anyways so okay let's uh start with this <laughs> episode now from the beginning when she said that i'm going to become an idol uh and like as it was going on I was thinking like maybe this is not going to like she probably won't be one of those permanent members because <clears throat> the way the story was kind of building up you know I kind of thought something like that is going to happen because like Francis we all know Francis as the like you know as, as the members we all the, the members we all know those are the members that uh, we are like you know that has been officially introduced uh, even in when the season was announced if there was some like you know additional character that was going to get into the show I'm sure people like you know the trailers and they probably would have mentioned something So that is the reason why you know I based like you know my prediction on I thought that even though she is getting like you know this, She's involving herself in this idol thing with the front Shushu members. She's probably not going to stay and yeah that's what happened it's a shame because i really liked her like you know her whole um personality her attitude it was so positive so straightforward without any kind of what do you say that um, like you know any kind of um like it, it's clean like you know it's, it's completely straightforward and it's extremely pure her like her personality and it's so bright and you know like uplifting like she would have been a perfect idol and <clears throat> like you know like uh, and i myself really liked her personality like it was <laughs> kind of did see in a way but at the same time it was very honest and very straightforward but yeah i i kind of like you know thought that probably she won't be one of the members like it's probably just this episode so yeah that's what happened it's a shame but you know i hope we get to meet her in the future as well <clears throat> but anyways so yeah let's talk about this episode first of all <laughs> the first scene when <laughs> when kotaro was in the bath you know <laughs> when she slips on the slow uh, like soap like you know when she was coming inside and when the, the soap was being shown i was thinking oh my god is she going to slip and what will what's going to happen then and when she slipped on the <laughs> soap <clears throat> the <laughs> The background music was, was the same as the first episode. That scream, uh, like you know, the the, the the sound effect, that uh, the screaming sound effect, and I then thought, oh my god, yeah, the, she's going to get zombified. And <laughs> in this, like you know, in this anime, if you get, you know, if truck kun hits you, you don't get isekai. You get zombified by our <laughs> one and only Kotaro, Tatsumi Kotaro. So yeah, she dies and she gets zombified. I was thinking something like that is going to happen. Fortunately, she did not die <laughs> because you know, like, <clears throat> like it would have been um, I don't know a weird thing if she died by sleeping on a soap. And she, I, I don't think she got any much injuries. She just, you know, like she had no blood coming out, nothing. So, uh, like, uh, like she could have gotten a, a concussion or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But you know, like, <clears throat> it would have been very like. <laughs> unusual if she died from that but at that moment on in the heat of the moment i thought that yeah she was dead 
like you know like how, how everything was going on and like i was thinking oh my god a new like you know a new zombie is going to go in. now here's a difference you know like she, she, she was not dead so i was thinking like like when i got to know that yeah she's not dead i thought yeah she's probably going to be here for this episode she won't be a permanent member as i kind of explained before like my reasoning for that but if she became a zombie <clears throat> my reasoning would be different like i would have probably thought that yeah she is probably going to become one of the idol members because once you become a zombie like what do you even do you know so that would have probably like if she died at that moment and she became a zombie she would have probably been one of the like you know new uh, prominent front shishu members and like <laughs> like they really tricked me like you know uh, i'm sure a lot of uh, like you know a lot of people watching this for the first time uh I've, like also got tricked into like thinking that yeah maybe she's going to join she is a zombie now <laughs> the whole thing, thing was a complete like you know like uh, what can i say like it was complete troll <laughs> as kotaro made a big biggest mistake you know like he he thought she was dead and brought her i'm sure like she he thought of making her into a zombie but then like when she starts walking around i thought like oh my god is, is she like going to become like thai or something like you know and then i realized like oh no like they needed a little bit of time to get into the senses as in the first season that showed us you know like everyone needed a little bit of time before they got to their senses so i thought maybe like she's going through that phase and then i realized that oh maybe not <laughs> maybe she's not dead like when when her bandage came off I was thinking like why is her face looking so fresh like is she not dead is she not a zombie and then I thought like oh, did like Kotaro put makeup on her or something and then I thought that okay maybe not maybe she is like one of the fresh like you know like she died recently so that's why maybe she is not decomposed that's why her body like you know her face is all okay and then like everything came crashing down as I realized that no she's not dead actually that's Kotaro's mistake <laughs> he thought he was dead she was dead i thought she was dead she's not dead she's all, all, all like you know like alive and kicking so <laughs> like that was funny oh my god and <clears throat> yeah and like that's how she gets to know that uh, everyone's uh, like you know everyone is a zombie here and like i think i think this is the first time isn't it that someone realized like you know i'm not like i'm excluding that the photo photographer guy like i like i'm excluding him like as like you know like like the person people who got to know from themselves like from the from the girls that yeah we are zombies she's the first one isn't she yeah i think so yeah yeah she, she's the first one who knows the actual identities and it has heard it from the girls themselves like the photographer kind of like like was saw them in that moment like the girls never told him so it's like she's like the first person who the girls like you know diverse that yeah we are zombies so that's nice you know like to have at least one person like this and all right so yeah like uh, this is basically like you know as i said like her kind of trying to get into uh, the whole idol thing and like <clears throat> now here's the thing uh, when sakura was talking about her own uh, you know um, uh, what do you call it her her like past her actually when she was alive uh, circumstances so when she was talking about those circumstances and like you know what she was doing how she or like gave an audition and everything and then she died and she said that like that was a really nice like you know uh the lines she said she said that like if we like stop giving our all like when when she, you know when she said that we're going to go, go to the efs again to get our revenge and uh my mind says that oh like aren't you scared like you know like that's the place where you failed so you're going to go back to that hell again sakura says that yeah because if we give up we're just plain ordinary walking dead so unless and until we give up we like you know we have something special in us we're just like you know we're not just like the ordinary zombies we're something special and that's something that we should keep in mind and uh, yeah that was really like you know such a great advice and um obviously like um my mind that kind of resonated with her and like at that moment i i i didn't like i was unable to properly grasp what she was actually thinking but i knew something was wrong with her you know the way she kind of like was like blanking out at, at first i thought maybe like it kind of like you know uh dissolutioned her like 
because like the like the way I, I, I was thinking like the way she thought the Francis members were they were not like that maybe that was the reason why she got disillusioned and she was probably going to act not act but she was probably going to fail in the actual like you know performance in the school festival uh, okay like that did not happen thankfully and it was not that she was disillusioned but she found her own resolve now uh, when like you know when she says that like in, in, on stage she says that like I have something to say like I can like obviously I can realize that she's going to say that this is my first and the last time and she said that and she says that uh, like yeah like like this is like this will all like you know you, this is the first time I'm coming here I'm going to sing and dance and like it's like a brief time that I entered France Shushu and this will be the end of it now <clears throat> at that moment I realized that maybe that was not it maybe she actually got motivated by Sakura's speech, you know, because as she, as Sakura said that, like, we should do our utmost best. And she realized that we have only one life because the lives of Sakura and the Safran Shushu members were so short, uh, they have st still has that fire burning in them. And even after they are dead, you know, the fire still burns and they are still like, you know, uh, being able to kind of um like do their uh like you know fulfill their like shine brightly in this like you know even though they are zombies they can still shine brightly in th in this world uh now then she I i'm sure i'm sure like at that moment she realized that like this is not like you know like i have my own life to live so like i, I like she surely has something she wants to do herself not the idol idol like you know becoming an idol i, I think the, the decision that she took of becoming an idol was something that she talked took an, in a whim you know and i'm sure she has some different kind of goal some different kind of uh, ambition or something and she realized that this is my only life and seeing the francis members seeing their that how they're so desperately trying to live even though they are dead she herself realized that, yeah, my life, uh, am I going to waste it like this? As you know, like I must have something that I want to do myself. I want to live my life for myself. I want to like, you know, do something uh, uh, like according to my own, you know, ambition and my own goal. And I also want to shine brightly just like the Fran Shushu girls. So that probably made her uh, take the decision that, yeah, like this is the first time and this will be the last time and uh, she made uh, a choice of like you know finding her own goal and living her own life and i think that's like you know very what can i say commendable in a way because there are a lot of people who even in their like you know later life they still struggle with like finding what they want to do actually do there are a lot of people who even by the end of it, don't realize what they actually wanted to do with their life. And that's, that's kind of like, you know, a shame for them. Like, it's not their fault that they are unable to find it. It's just like, you know, nothing kind of clicks. Like, this, like you know, there are a few people who kind of find something and it, it just clicks. And they realize that, yeah, this is something that I want to do. But a lot of people do, do, does not find that. And thankfully, I'm guessing like um, my my would be able to find that thing in the future, instead of just like doing whatever like you know everything on a whim. She decides to kind of find that one special thing for herself, and that's good, you know. That's very commendable. So yeah, it was a really nice episode. I have to say, I really liked my my as a character, and I would have loved if she really got included into the uh, French uh, you know, uh, the team. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the first and the last time we're going to see her on stage. So, yeah. And, okay, let's see if I've missed something or not. Um, Kotaro looked really, you know, um, uh, what can I say, sorry in this episode. As, as, especially in the end when he says, apologizes and says that, like, you know, I'm sorry for this. <sighs> Like, technically, this was like, you know, everything kind of happened because of the soap. So I'm guessing Kotaro is kind of like blaming himself for it. 
but in a positive way looking at it like if if the soap was not there probably my would have my my would have not realized you know what she realized in this episode like the soap was the thing that triggered everything you know like <laughs> like the triggered her meeting the franchise members her deciding to become an idol and then her realizing after like listening to sakura that yeah i also want something special for myself I also want to live my life just like uh Franchushu you know uh the girls in Franchushu are doing so yeah like thank like that was like a blessing in disguise you know in a way because i'm sure like my my would you know try to do something positive and something special with her life after this so i'm sure like this probably changed her life in a big way and uh, Oh, also, also another thing I wanted to say uh, was was that what is that actually called? Like, uh, we don't have that here. Like, uh, tamago. Just a sec. Tamagotchi, isn't it? Like, obviously, like as I've like watched anime for so long, like obviously I know what it is. Like, it's like a small little um, what do you call it? A, a, a portable. Uh, you know, digital pet. I'm guessing who you kind of um, you know, race and i'm guessing like you need to feed the pet and everything it's like a little like you know digital pet uh so like that's all i know about the tamagotchi so it's like uh like it, i'm sure like uh like this is a big source of nostalgia for a lot of people like unfortunately like at least in my country we did, did not have this thing like you know it was not as much popular as uh like you know as all the other countries especially in japan but like uh, after like I, I started watching anime i kind of learned about this thing and i would have like i'm sure like this is like a source of a big nostalgia for m majority of the people you know like most of the people in the world so unfortunately i like you know i never got to experience that but yeah but anyways like it, it was something like it was a tamagotchi wasn't it i'm guessing it was like a special version of it and like it was all rainbow colored and something and like saki was telling that it was, it was so rare or something so yeah that's just something you know um okay and okay what else was in this episode um oh also another thing my my was um the fan like i never even realized it so i'm guessing like in the all the previous episode she was there like you know they were kind of showing in the close up you know so like I sh like you know like uh, probably like if i go back into the episodes like you know on, on all the other uh, episodes episode uh, this is episode 7 isn't it episode <clears throat> excuse me episode not 6 but 5 4 like all of these episodes where wherever like they had a concert they uh, not concert they had an idol like you know yeah concert idol concert i'm guessing she was there like you know and uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll try to remember it, you know, like, obviously, we will have a lot more uh, idol concerts after this episode as well. So if I remember, like, you know, uh, it, I'll try my best to remember it, you know, and I'll try my best to find her in the upcoming episodes <laughs> in the audiences. I'll, if, if I remember it, like my memory is very, <laughs> you know, short term, <laughs> like, I'll probably forget, but you know, um yeah like if i remember it i'll try my best to you know kind of notice her or spot her in, amongst the audiences like we already know like those two people like those two guys who are the biggest fans you know the, the guy who has like a like a star in her in his hand like you know face like we already we always see them but like next time i'll try to notice if she's there you know if she's in the audience or not yeah and also another thing by the end of it we see like you know like the photographer she like you know he found all the other um like you know uh, all the other um what do you call it uh, members uh, like they're dead she found he found that out like even saki i, I was really surprised that like you know uh saki but obviously like he, he, like she died in a bike accident you know so it would have been probably be a big news so yeah like she he found it all everything in the newspaper so i'm guessing yugiri probably did not die as flashily as the others so that's why probably her name is not in the newspapers like you know like everyone died extremely f like you know uh like flashily like sakura got almost got isekai'd <laughs> um saki got into a motor cycle accident um lily was like one uh, like you know like levels and child idol obviously she, everyone is going to know about lily and then uh there's like junko and i they themselves were ex extremely popular 
So I'm not sure about Thai. Like how? Okay, let me see Thai's. Just a sec. I'm going to check it out. Like th there's also a lot of mystery like surrounding Thai. So like w what is that newspaper saying? Okay. Um. Just a sec. Um. Junka Kono, uh, Hishikawa, Hoshikawa Lili, number zero, Yamada Tai. They did not show us Tai's newspaper. Oh my god. Let's see if I can sneak some peek here. Nope. They're not even, like, when they are, like, you know, closing, like, you know, zooming out of that scene, we still cannot see, like, Tai's newspaper. Like when they like you know every 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 newspaper had the like, reason of death above it like Hoshi, like Lily uh, um uh, what's, uh, what's her name Junko I like everyone M not uh, like the Thai's one was like a big zoom in like there was nothing written and after it zoomed out and all the newspapers are kind of like you know lined up we still cannot see Thai's newspaper. There's also big mystery surrounding Thai, and there's this whole thing like I did not notice it in the previous episode, but um, Sakura's like you know grave and Thai's grave are beside each other in the previous episode. Someone in the comment section notified me about that. Like uh, like Sakura is like her 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 uh, last name is Minamoto Minamoto Sakura. Like when we saw in that scene where Thai went to the grave, and we I recognized Thai's grave, like you know Yamada Yamada family grave, and there was a Minamoto family grave as well beside it. I was unable to recognize it because I forgot Sakura's last name. And someone in the comment section let me know that yeah that is Sakura's last name. And I realized that, that Sakura's family grave and Tai's family grave are beside each other. So there's, I think, a big mystery surrounding that as well. It's, I'm guessing, is she somehow related to Sakura or something? I'm not sure. Like, like, like Yugiri and Tai, they're like the most mysterious people here. I'm sure we'll get some kind of clue and, you know, it's like some kind of conclusion by the end of this season. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was this episode. This was a fantastic episode. I really liked my mind, but I, I'm guessing we're probably going to see her, like, you know, a few times in the future as well. Not, she'll not be as prominent as this episode, but probably we'll see her. And, yeah. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. So, this was Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 7. So, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button. And also, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general. I'll check them out. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.